Well, the reason I'm here today is to show you how to back up your iX20 models, which is a really important thing to do. And I use the Google Drive, or you can also use Bluetooth. And you can share them to another iX20 or iX12 user via Bluetooth. So the first thing you're going to do is, um, is you're going to go ahead and take and click on your model, quick tap, go to proceed. And then you're going to run over to the three dots on the right hand side up top. Touch that. And then there's a export model. So you can select all at the top right here. X X click all. Or you can select any model you want. Let's just say I want to do the V1200 right there. So I'm going to do one. It'll be a little faster than doing them all. I have like uh, 35 models in here. Um, so we're going to hit export. Now, I have a choice here because these are some of the last folders I've used that show up. But I have a choice, and you'll see the same thing. You're going to see Bluetooth. You're going to see the um, nearby select and add to maps. Not sure why that's there because you'll never do that. But if you're going to, you'll have that save to disk with the Google Drive uh, option once you go ahead to the Play Store and download this application. It's free. And it holds quite a bit of data, more than you can ever use for your iX20. Uh, it's more for like uh, storage of your photos and whatnot, but it works awesome. So if I go ahead and collect store, it's going to say, do you want to save it? And it's that simple, but I really want to put it in my own special folder. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. So um, if I go hit save, it'll, it'll save right in here. But if I hit the down arrow, see it shows that I'm in the folder backup for you. I want to get out of that. So let's see if I can back up, get out of this folder. That was a way to do it. Let's see. It's hard to see here. Sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to say this little arrow here. Uh, you can see it back up for you. I'm going to go backwards. It's in the test folder. I go back and says, does my drive. It shows all my folders, right? So I want to make a new one. So the top right, that little picture of a folder, I can make my own new folder right there. So it says it's untitled. I'm going to call it whatever I want. I'll call it A, B, C, just for you. Boom. Hit the OK arrow. And I'll say select. And guess what's going to happen? A, B, C. It's there. If I say save, it just loaded the file, the V900 into the ABC folder. It was that simple. So now, all, if I put all my models in there, or I put in just uh, one model, that's where it's going to go. I set them up by dates, and I'll show you. So now that that's gone, this is on the Wi-Fi. Uh, I'll pull the top screen down. You can see that I'm on my Wi-Fi right there. All right. So this is done. It's been backed up. Now if I go over to my computer and let's say I go to a new tab and I'm on Gmail, I mean uh, my uh, Google uh, Chrome and I click on the Google Apps, I'm going to have the Google Drive right here. So I go to my Google Drive and I have a folder right here now under my Google Drive under storage. I have a, I have a folder right here called ABC. I click on that I have my v1200 and there it is this is the folder so I can take this now and I can share this with someone else or I can write it to an SD card so why don't we try that um, if I take this and I will uh, right click on it and I'll say download so now when I go ahead and download this it just downloaded at the bottom you'll see it I can go over to the right hand side of my window say show all now I can go to show in folder now you can see right there i have a v1200 in this folder right now i'm going to take this and i want to take that full i want to take that file and i want to put it let's say on an sd card so i can share this with someone else or back it up and uh, leave it inside my uh, radio case because once i have this on the desk i can always put it back in i just can't write out to it so i want to take this i'll put it in my computer all right, I want to take that uh, little card, throw it in there, and um, now it should show up over here. And I want to take this little, my uh, ISPM BNET 1200, pretty simple. 
I want to say, uh, just drag this into my new SD card that's in my computer, which happens to be, it's not there. <laughs> All right, it's not seeing it. Give me a second. Oh, there we go. I should read it. Okay, here it is. Spectrum. Yes, there it is. Now I will make a new folder. And there's a new folder, right, Dancy? New folder under that little um, SD card. And I'll drag this over here, and I'll take the V1200, and I'll bring it over. And now it is written on the SD card. And there it is. So now I can share this and do whatever I want. But you'll notice the file types are all ISPM. ISPM only works with the IX12 and the IX20. So in order to use that file and share it with someone with a DX radio, you will need to give that file to someone with the IX12 and have them import it and see if they can actually export it back out to an SPM file. The IX12 can do it, but not in all cases. If the model is very complex that you built, that has all kinds of mixing, it will not work. So make sure you test it. If it's a standard model with, you know, flaps and gear and, uh, you know, uh, it should be just fine. Um, when you're using some of the complex features of the IX20, um, they will not import over. Now, don't, don't forget, IX20 and the IX12 have sounds on your radio. You know, you you can, um, your your, um, your switches are all having... Failure on high rate, failure on mid-rate, you know, rudder low rate, they have different, rudder mid-rate. Those sounds will not import over to a DX. So that section of filing is not going to work. You're going to have to do that. And obviously like the photos of your airplanes. So anyways, I hope this is helpful um, with backing up your radio. And uh, you guys have a great day. All right. See us.